everybody, this is Tim from Mainly Muscle Cars along with cameraman Ken. And today we are looking at a 1970 Torino GT convertible. Uh, really neat car. Uh, we're kind of coming to the the conclusion that this is uh, very uh, possibly the very first big block convertible in the mix. Uh, VIN number is 00039. So that's a 39th car built at the Lorraine plant. And that's of all the cars they built. So, I mean, you could have different uh, you know, galaxies and such built there as well. Uh, this one, uh, of course, 429. It's the ENCODE engine, otherwise known as the Thunder Jet. Uh, C6 automatic. It has a 31 spline rear axle. And that's the nodular case unit. It's a 3 0 track lock. Uh, power steering. Power front disc brakes, uh, and there's also a lot of good uh, other options. It has bucket seat interior uh, with the floor shift console, intermittent wipers, uh, it has the color keyed mirrors, the electric clock, uh, power top, uh, so a lot of good options. Uh, this one came medium blue metallic with the white interior. Now this is what I call it's a restoration project. It still runs, it drives. Uh, runs excellent actually the motor was reported as being rebuilt uh, we're doing a little bit uh, of a look inside this one's been in storage for a long time fired up uh, definitely sounds like there's forged pistons as soon as it warms up they quiet up a little bit of a mild cam just a little lope to the idle uh, the engine has been balanced you can rev this one up to 3500 rpm and it is glass smooth uh, really really smooth out on the road of course, walking around the car, you can see that it does need, you know, body work and paint. Um, looks like it has been painted just the one time, from what I can tell, uh, and back to the medium blue. Um, so you're, there's lots of little areas in there that will need addressed, but overall the car is solid. We've got good frame rails, uh, torque boxes look good, has the original floor pans in it yet, so it doesn't look like anybody's cut into this one. Uh, you know, there is a little rust at each of the bottoms of the quarters and around the wheel lip. That will need to be addressed. I don't think it's anything you're going to need to replace a panel over. Uh, we do have photos of this, so you can go ahead and check that out. A couple little bubbles in the doors. Uh, again, something that's repairable, you know, not, not needing replacement in my opinion. Uh, panels actually line up pretty good. Uh, we've got a lot of photos again. You can kind of go over there, and if we miss something or you you're not uh, happy with that angle, we can certainly get you another one. Uh, again, nice car. And we also have the Marty report on this one. This one is a 4th of July production car, which does designate it as being a uh, special production car. Ford put all their significant cars as a 4th of July production. Okay, uh, this one fires up nice. And of course you can't tell from the video, but that motor revs extremely smooth. A uh, little bit of a lope to the cam, so just enough to kind of rock the car at an idle. Uh, this one was reported as being rebuilt. Runs very strong. Transmission works well. Uh, we got this one after it had been sitting roughly 10 or so years. Uh, we pre-oiled the motor, we changed oil and then pre-oiled it. Fired up, uh, ran well. Transmission works well track lock works well so this is a good car uh, you know I recommend that this is a, uh, a restoration car can you drive it as is yeah actually doesn't drive half bad but the brakes on it uh, they're all functioning brake booster is a little stiff so you have a stiffer pedal than that we're looking into it I believe we have a new one but I can't guarantee that that one will be on so uh, right now we're out driving it I think it's you know it's fine as long as you're uh, not gonna go out and get in heavy traffic but it certainly stops the car okay. But just something to kind of note. It's nice and quiet. I mean, there's not a bunch of rattles in the car like you do kind of run into older cars. Uh, this one is currently showing 86,050 on the odometer. Um, it lines up pretty well. There's not that much wear on the brake pedal. You could probably make a case against it, but I have no documentation to support it. So car itself, again, not real rattly, uh, goes down the road fine, you know, I, with cars of this vintage, you know what I say, especially in how rare this one is, I would say this one deserves to be restored rather than kind of jump in and driven, although you could probably finish out the uh, convertible season this year, kind of a little bit of uh, in the barn fine condition, then next, you know, next season go ahead and tear her apart. 
parts. Uh, just the lid on these things price-wise is huge. So this is one of the few cars you can buy in a project for, send it in, have it repainted, and still not be upside down in the car. Uh, you can really make some good money if this is work you can do on your own. is really good and torquey. Again, there's been those uh, performance improvements we talked about. Uh, carburetor's been upgraded. I believe it's a 750 double pumper Holly on there. Uh, looks like it was done right about the same time the motor was rebuilt. So low miles on that one. Transmission works nice. Steering works good. Power top works. Power windows work. Now on the switch, Every once in a while, you do have to rock the switch a little bit to get it to work, but uh, those are older contacts. Again, something that would be addressed in a restoration. So, if you're looking for a really rare car, uh, this is one of only 125 cars made. You know, total, hard to say what's left, and that's of any variety of the uh, 429 automatic. So, with the bucket seats, the floor shift, and the cool options, uh, very likely a one-of-one car, and it's one-of-one because of desirable options, not because it was putrid green with a, you know, light green interior and, you know, an AM radio and one speaker. So, good options make this one rare, and values of these really are coming up hard. Take a look at Hangerty values. They have them valued very strongly. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, 360-863-224. Or check us on the web at mainlymusclecars.com. Thanks.